Hi guys, welcome to the Bangkok Vlogs. I'm currently in Thailand right now, just after Bali. I'm really excited to be here. However, I did get into like a lot of hiccups recently. It's actually my third day in Thailand, but the first two days were like crazy. And I'm just like so tired and like done with everything right now. But the some few like fun things that happened recently is that um, I went on a photo shoot tour of like um, Thailand. We took pictures at like um, a lot of temples. And it was so much fun. I actually made friends on that tour and they actually invited me to go clubbing with them um, yesterday and that was really fun. And then we had like lunch together and I'm here now um, in my Airbnb and I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little tour. So when you walk in, this is what the entryway looks like. It's just a studio apartment in Bangkok and this is um, the little sink and kitchenette area. You have a fridge and then to the right right here is the bathroom. So you just like have a sink, a shower, and then the toilet. And then this is the whole living area. There's like a couch slash adjustable table right here that moves. Um, I just been here doing some work. There's the bed. It's pretty comfortable, a little bit hard, but it is like Asia. And then right here you have a little um, station with like the guide. But yeah, it's very simple but small and it's like enough for me. I think how much I paid for this apartment it was like really cheap. I want to say it was about $17 a night. Super inexpensive, super affordable. And right here is just my little balcony of my view of Bangkok. It's super nice. It's actually really nice outside tonight. It's like super cloudy and it's so clear. It used to be like raining. Downstairs of my like little Airbnb studio is a convenience store. It's not 7-Eleven. Um, 7-Eleven is actually, I want to say, a three-minute walk. It's super close, but I'm kind of lazy. So um, I actually bought a few things from the convenience store there, and I love convenience stores in Asia, especially Thailand. I remember the first time I went to Thailand with my friends, we would always go to 7-Eleven or a convenience store that's just like under our um, accommodation. We would get so much stuff. And here's some of the stuff that I got that I really wanted to try. So. First, of course, we have mama noodles. Um, we have this in the States, but just in case I go hungry, um, one of these nights that I'm here, I would cook these. I also have like leftover veggies that I'm gonna cook with this because I always have to have veggies whenever I'm eating ramen. And mama noodles is so good. I love how it's like sour and like a little bit spicy. And like, I think I like this more than like Korean ramen um, because it just like has a lot more flavor. And like, I like sour. Whenever you go to a convenience store in like Asia, there's like little desserts or pastries. And I got these. These are like uh, little crepe rolls. This is the coconut flavored one. I also have a taro one. These look so good. I love anything like crepe and like whipped cream. Also got some daifoku. I also got some daifuku, also known as like mochi. And this one is like filled with salted egg. Really excited to try this one out. Oh, I love like the onigiris that you can find at convenience stores or like triangle kimbap. This is the one with like salmon and mayonnaise. I usually get tuna. However, they didn't have tuna today and I was really sad about it because I'm more of a tuna fan than salmon. We also have some probiotic yogurt drink, similar to Yakult, but this one's Thai. And then I also have some ice cream. I got uh, two flavors of ice cream. This one is a passion fruit one. One of my favorite fruits is passion fruit, so I had to get this. And then I found a durian one. I love durian. It smells kind of dank right now, but I know it's gonna taste so good. Plus it's like vegan. But yeah, those are all the things that I bought. And everything came out to 200 baht, which is about... I want to say six dollars. Oh, actually, it came out to five dollars and thirty-two cents. Um, that is it for the haul. I am actually gonna go out to a market right now. There's this really famous market in Bangkok called Shatushat Market. It's one of the largest uh, markets in Bangkok. It's super big. There's like twenty-seven different sections, and um, I'm actually right by it. 
um, the studio is like near Chateau Shack area. And so I'm gonna go there right now and I'm gonna show you guys um, all the things that they have there. The Chateau Shack Market, also known as the Weekend Market, is a massive outdoor market located in the northern part of Bangkok, Thailand. With over 15,000 stalls spread across 25 acres, it is one of the largest markets in the world. Visitors can find a wide variety of goods including clothing, accessories, electronics, antiques, and souvenirs, as well as local food and snacks. The market is open Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays and attract both locals and tourists alike. While it can be overwhelming to navigate, the market is organized into different sections, making it easier to find what you're looking for. Chinatown was super stressful. There was so many people. It was packed and it was crazy because like it's a big area. It's a really big there's like this one main street that people like just walk like on to like get street food, like eat at restaurants and stuff like that, but you were like shoulder to shoulder with people and it was still really fun. There's a lot of like cool food but the line for everything was just way too long i couldn't really try anything i do want to talk about one thing about traveling to thailand if you're looking to get internet here in thailand you can either do a sim card where you have to like get a thai number and depending on the sim card packages package that you buy you, you, you get like a limit sometimes it's like only two gigabytes for like three days or like five gigabytes for like a week depending on the company. My favorite way to get internet however is through a portable Wi-Fi device such as this one. I got this at the airport but I bought it through Kluke. If you guys are not familiar with Kluke, I'm not sponsored by the way. Um, they It's like a travel website that sells like a variety of things from like activities and like um, experiences. Um, they also sell like SIM cards and like Wi-Fi devices. So I bought this, it was like $5 per day. It's a little bit expensive for a solo traveler. However, if you're traveling with friends, it's like much, much cheaper. Um, it connects to up to five devices. So if you're traveling with five friends, that's like a dollar a day for everyone. And it's unlimited. And you also don't have to worry about like losing your SIM card because back then when I used to use or buy SIM cards in another country, I would have to like tape it to the back of my uh, passport just so I won't lose it because it's like so small, but this is like so convenient Another must-do activity in Thailand is to visit floating markets where vendors will sell either food or produce on their boats that are floating along a canal Unfortunately, the one I went to didn't have as many traditional boat vendors, but I still got a chance to eat a lot of Thai food Even though there are like designated places to get like street food such as night markets, very busy streets, Chinatowns, floating markets, I think one of my favorite places to just get like food is literally out on the street at like random places such as like outside a subway station, um, outside on my street. When I was coming home from the floating market or like the train from the floating market there was like so many vendors outside and i got some stuff i got these skewers i remember i had these the first time i was in um thailand and they were like so good they're like little pork skewers and then inside is like noodles Very noodly, very like savory. And each skewer is like 15 baht, so a little bit under um, 50 cents. So maybe like 40, 45 cents. And I saw him like cooking it outside on the street too, and all the juices were like flowing to the charcoal. Oh my god, it looks so good. <laughs> That's why I love Asia because you get so much like really good food at a very affordable price point, and it's so convenient. It's just like outside of your door. You don't have to go to a restaurant, you can just like pick up and go and have it at the comfort of your like home or wherever you're staying.
today was so crazy. I was trying to get back home um, from this mall I went to and it was like storming and pouring rain. Everyone was trying to get a taxi back home and it took me like three tries to like call a grab. One like never showed up, one canceled on me and there was just like no more taxis and it was like flooding everywhere and I didn't know what to do because there was so many people and t traffic was so bad and so what I did is I walked 20 minutes from the mall to the train station I have to take in order to go back home because there was like no direct or no convenient um, train or MRT route in order to, for me to get back home and so I walked 20 minutes in the rain and it, well, not really in the rain it was like sprinkling but it was like flooding people were like taking off their shoes to walk through the flood it was so crazy i'm like sweating and tired i think getting home was like an hour and a half <sighs> i was really down to pay like 300 baht to get home because that was like sir like um surcharge at the time but I saved money, but it was so inconvenient. And to reward myself from a very stressful evening, I bought some mangosteens, which are one of my favorite fruits of all time. I, you can only really get this in Southeast Asia for like a decent price. In the States, it's about like $16 a pound, but here it's about $5 a pound. It's super expensive everywhere, but it's like the cheapest or cheaper when you're in Southeast Asia. They're basically like this like tropical fruit that tastes like yogurt. It's so good. If you never tried this before, definitely try it, especially when you're in Southeast Asia. I wouldn't really recommend it in the States because sometimes, um, the, depending on where you buy it from, it's not that good. I think Bangkok or Thailand in general so far has definitely changed since COVID, especially the night markets. I don't know why. I think I was just like a little bit disappointed. For example, um, there's this night market called the Rachachacha or like train night market in Bangkok. It was so huge. There was a lot of street food. Um, I just couldn't find a lot of the food that I was able to fine back in the first time i went to thailand and i also feel like a lot of the street food that you can get in thailand right now is street food that you can get in other countries such as takoyakis uh, korean corn dogs um, and stuff like that i really miss all the traditional um, street food stalls or street food that i was able to eat on my like previous trip that i was not able to find on this trip um, i hope when i go to the other um, cities and islands there it's gonna be a lot better i'm gonna go to kosamoy or kosamui tomorrow and i actually extended my trip i was only supposed to be there for two days but i'm gonna be there for four days um, i'm actually joining these two girls that i met on my first day here they were really nice and they invited me to like stay at their house we're gonna go to a full moon party if you guys don't know what that is every full moon uh, Costa Mui has this like party called the full, full moon party and it's supposed to be super fun you party until like sunrise and I always like wanted to kind of experience it even though I'm not like a huge partier but ever since one of my friends told me about it I was just like really intrigued and it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity because I've obviously I'm not gonna party by myself but I already partied with these two girls my first night in Thailand when we first met um, I think it would just be more comfortable and fun with like other people. So yeah, usually I'm like very shy to these sort of stuff, but I'm kind of growing. But yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna finish packing now. I leave for Kosamui tomorrow morning and they said they're gonna pick me up from the airport and then I'll just continue my vlog from there. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video is helpful in any way for your next trip to Bangkok or Thailand. Um, depending on your experience, it's going to be good or bad depending on the COVID situation. But I feel like Bangkok is still a really interesting, fun city to do. And I definitely recommend it. 
So that is it. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye! Killing time, you and I, hours, minutes, days, and nights. Trading all of our deadlines for conversations over wine. Killing time, you and I, in this moment, we're alive. Infatuated with your eyes, and the way they look at mine when we're killing time.